Just because we scumbag people and they do it doesn't make us scumbags. No, that actually is pretty much the definition. No, isn't it? no, I'm, yeah, it's pretty much the definition. Be your own person. Yeah, but then you know how the mob mentality is. <laughs> Go back to when we tried to kill the Miata. Tried? Kakawa went up there and kicked the thing and started ripping stuff off of it. Kakawa did that? Remember he kicked off the, the wiper blade. He got on the Oh, yeah, he did join. He goes, well, yeah. well, because, all right, because you know, he's a scumbag. Yeah, okay. He's, Deep down. But, but just because we say... Whoa. Fuck. That was loud. Yeah. That sounded like an exploding tire. That was probably an exploding tire. Hopefully they're okay. Welcome oh, to Daily Transmissions. Transmission. What are we going to talk about today? We're gonna this is what we're going to talk about today. We're calling it what? Hoonovations? Hoonovations. My guess, I mean, I don't know the definition of Hoonovation, but my guess is we had an idea or we invented something or we did something shitty to fix something. They're probably not really inventions. What should we start with? I'll let you pick first. Uh, let's see. I mean, we can just go down the list. We just started doing daily transmissions. And we had some old piece of shit car that Brian bought yeah. or got for free. It was Ashley's car. Ashley, same. They're the same. Literally mm, the same person. Okay, That's okay. why they wear that ring. They became because this Because it now? makes them the same person. Okay. So, Ascato. <laughs> Ascato owned this real shitty little car. MG. And uh, sorry for the people who love those cars that I called it shitty, but this one was shitty. And it was sitting there forever collecting dust. And Joey had just started working for us, and he was the only one who could do six skate moves. So we were like, how do we spice this episode up? Scumbagged him to a board slide on the roll bar. So his first day of work, essentially, we decided to make Joey try to rail slide the MG. This is a good scenario. Joey's response earlier was, when I get health insurance. <laughs> yeah, that, not today. <laughs> Getting real ready now. Dropping the leather. John feels like it's slightly abuse. Rob's a madman, and we're a bunch of scumbags. I don't know whose idea it was. It was probably yours. No, no. It was. No, no, it wasn't. Because I remember this. Because I walked out to it. Okay. So it wasn't my you idea. You sure you didn't seat it, I think walk it was, away, and come I think into it? It had to be El Gigante's idea. Or, honestly, it probably was Rob's own idea. Oh, yeah, you're probably it right. It probably was Rob's idea. But Brian and a couple other people were playing with the drip cooler. I don't know if you remember that from a couple previous episodes, but... A couple previous episodes? Yeah. Like... 150 yeah, episodes. previous episodes. And uh, they put Rob inside of this cooler. Yes. So he could ha join in on the fun. Because it's all hand controlled already and everything. And it needs a little weight momentum. Um, it was interesting. I don't really know how to... Just watch. Yeah. I remember the next day Rob was laughing about how swollen his knees were and how stupid of an idea it was, but it still had fun. So it's not scumbag. Wow, okay, right, right. It's like, if you scumbag, you're scumbag. It's just scumbag. If you scumbag, you're scumbag, you're just friends, right? Well, we, uh, yeah, that's that's established. Yeah, and we and we've made it apparent that once you walk through that fucking gate, you're a scumbag. If you don't, you might not know it yet. And it, yeah. And if you don't do what we say, we're just gonna kick you out, so. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> this one was good. This is when you were really in the crazy card. You know, I used to be a professional crazy card. You were. Yeah. You want to get. This is weird. We're doing the same. Well, but we're opposite. We're doing. It's yeah. like when we just dress the opposite too. We're but, just doing that. Yeah. 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 Just, here, you do that. I'll do okay. this. No, you can't switch. <laughs> I can't switch my stance. 
How about this? There you go. There you go. We'll do this again. All right, then I'll do this. Yes, that way it doesn't look different at all. So we used the crazy card a lot. You did, and then we... did. All right. <laughs> partner Kakawa never actually wanted to go karting. That was supposed to happen. Yes. It was supposed we were supposed to have a tandem competition, me and Ven versus him and Kakawa. Kakawa would never learn how to do it, so he just had to sit on the sidelines and watch. But one day Ven and I got bored, so we decided to turn the entire building, or most of it, into a giant crazy car course. <laughs> comments towards Kikawa to join our team, which is basically the two of us, because I was going to get livery, like get a suit for him, yeah. he wanted shoulder pads, it would be amazing. So if you could just at least reach out to Kikawa and tell him he needs to join the team, then we can get this going. H-N-G-N dot Kakawa. You, you're doing it, you have to do it the other way. Just, re just mirror the clip when we yeah. play this. Yeah, yeah just mirror <laughs> the fucking clip. Don't worry about that, don't yeah. worry about that. And this. Yeah, who cares? Fine. As long as Kakao has logos, right? It's all maps. Yeah. This next one, I don't know if it's technically a Hoonovation. I don't know. I wasn't here for this. I, I was here for it, and I was yeah. deeply, like, from the beginning, I said it was a bad idea. I was unhappy about what Vinny, this was Vinny's idea. Oh, so Vinny, oh this is Vinny's Yes, this brings me to the point of <laughs> Vinny being the king of destruction. This was Vinny's idea. Perfectly good shit car. And by Jeep friends. Hey, dude, run over shit car. It'll be great. What can happen? Not a Hoonovation, but we'll play it anyway because Ben's a scumbag. It's going! It's going! Oh, oh man! Oh, oh man! man. Shit car is not on! That didn't go as we planned. This was an interesting day for me. For everyone. Yes. For all of us. We strapped fireworks to shit car. I wore a dinky American flag jumpsuit, hopped in the shit car, and got rained on by falling fire. It was the worst experience of all time, but also oddly fun. And somewhat dangerous. Very dangerous. We didn't think out the thought of the fireworks. Yeah. Falling like inside, the car. and then like doing the donuts, just rush them further inside. Yeah. I was screaming not for your enjoyment, for my fucking life. Because <laughs> there's a point where you couldn't even see where you were going. Yeah, I literally, I didn't know where anyone was. I just had to do donuts while on fire. Quite the experience. You're welcome. Enjoy. Honestly, one of the most innovative people to ever come into the building was the one and only Shit Daddy. Yes. How do we just choose on the shape? I basically just cut where the support wasn't there, right? See, like, you know, I just ran it down the support. I had to cut a little out here. I gave it a nice little shape. Yeah, like this. Oh, cool. And then we just folded the part up, 
And now we're making little sides for it, and this will just kind of like weld on right like that. And yeah, not bad, right? Connect a bar to there, bar to here, bar to there, bar to here, bar to there, bar to here, bar to there, bar to here. Nice and strong. Then he messed up the rear of the car so bad when he had the Jeep run over it, that's when the rear of the car got destroyed. Let me think in the timeline. That's when, no, 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 okay. that's, that's, okay. that's how it happened. Right. I remember, I watched every episode. <laughs> Vinny fucked up shit car so bad that we had to cut the bottom of it off. And, and bash bar it up for structure. So, um, so there was the hood scoop, the bash bars, and the most shitty exhaust of all time. Disclaimer, I'm not actually a welder, but I mean, I could stick things together with my eyes closed. This is what you put on here? Yeah, that's what I said. It's like one small, round, long muffler. It's the cheap Foos edition. It should sound better than that. But it's actually really good. It's great. Yes. I didn't, shitty's not a, no. shitty is a word of endearment around here. Yeah, it's true. The yeah. car is called shitty yeah. car. You're yeah. shitty, I'm shitty, you're shitty, Brandon shitty, Kim shitty, that light shitty, this trailer shitty. All good things. Hoonovation. I guess we could call it Hoonovation. Uh, Kakawa, for the longest time, wouldn't do anything with us without a helmet. Yeah, he won't was, get in the car or nothing. It was a bare minimum for him yeah. for safety was he had to get a helmet. So yeah. I got him a helmet, and then I customized his helmet for him with his favorite car he's wanted his entire life, which is like an 80s Trans Am, screaming chicken on the hood, black and gold, T-tops, the whole deal. He won't get one. If he gets one, he has to have the Burt Reynolds mustache and wear the belt buckle and the hat. And have to, we have to address him as the bandit. And just to clarify on that a little bit, like John's not kidding. Kakawa gets in the character. He used to have a uh, like a jerry curl mullet with big gold earrings, chain, like full Miami cocaine dealer type of dude. But he won't do anything cool like that for us. Because you imagine our heads would literally explode. We couldn't get him to do anything for us, especially dress up like he used to. So John saved the day, got him a helmet, spiced it up. All right, put that stuff away. Man, let's go find Kakawa. Give him his helmet. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Let's go look at it in the sun though. I want to see in the sun with the oh, sparkle. That's right. you have a little speckle. The green sparkles in there. Yeah, this is not necessary. Yeah, it's uh, totally necessary. Safety first. Yeah, too bad this isn't on a Trans Am. But yeah, but it could be one day. That's okay. Yeah, put it on. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Are you, John? Yes. Yeah, look at that. I think it looks good. You like? Yeah. Nice. And then that's when the rise of Kakawa. Really started to happen. Yeah. So you can thank John for that. You thank John for Kakawa. You're welcome. I wasn't here for this one. Um. The... <laughs> so Jacob came down with his Hornet and he tried to do, he thought he could do donuts with a one leg, one legger open diff yeah. by putting a serving tray under the other tire, <laughs> hoping they would spin around. It was a fail. I wasn't here that day, how'd it, that work out? It didn't work out at all. Mm. But the effort. But the thought of it, the effort on paper, should work. Yeah. But it didn't. But, you know, watch it. And this is a cutting board that you took yeah, out of your kitchen that I literally <laughs> screwed boards to as a wheel chop to sit up against this wheel. And so we're gonna lock this one wheel and burn the other one off and try to do donuts with an open dip car. No idea if it's gonna work. Nope. Oh yeah. Golf cart, so like I said, we get bored sometimes and try to be innovative. And it doesn't always work out. We've had this uh, this golf cart that Brian bought for like seven dollars from some guy <laughs> under a tree behind somewhere, and uh, it's been sitting for a long time. We've done a couple burnouts in it, 
but it's not really that fun outside of that. So we thought, hey, those people put PVC on wheels and have lots of fun in things. So we put PVC on the golf cart and figured, yeah, we'd have lots of fun with this. But it was literally so boring that I just left. <laughs> It's amazing how I'm the only person who gets injured around here now. I, yeah, that's... We had more fun trying to put the tire inside the PVC because that was a bad idea, because yeah. no one measured properly. No. Imagine that. No, yeah. We ordered 16-inch PVC for like a 17-inch tire or something. Yeah, or yeah. Some, or a 16 and a half, yeah. Yeah, the diameter was not yeah, correct. Yeah, so we had to deflate the tires, and literally oh. four of us, four stood of us on stood it. on the tires, ah, jumping on it like this. Ah. There's old man problems. <laughs> Boring, I know. God. <laughs> that was fun though. At the end of the day, even if it, things don't work out the way we want to, want them to, we still have fun. Wow. This, I don't know if this is called innovation. This is just straight mob mentality. It's a little bit of mob mentality, a little bit of innovation, because, bit. because like. We have, we have certain tools for certain things and we didn't have the tools to turn the Miata into a, a proper shark cart, so we used the tank. <laughs> that was a really sketchy day. No, that day was, I honestly felt kind of we were worried. Sh we were shooting, we were propelling. The harpoon. The harpoon. At the car. Yeah, that I, was a, that was uh, that was bad. It was dangerous. We were really out of control. How do we not really get hurt doing things like this? Why don't we have a tank? Why not? This one is a hundred percent your idea, and it kind of works. Take it, kinda. Take it as a win. All right. So we crashed the Miata a couple times, and. Uh, but the last crash that we did was, uh, it put it out of commission. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Taco the wheel, bent control arm, did all kinds of stuff. Everyone in the building was debating, like, just get rid of it. It's taking away from shit car. It's, it's not a fun vehicle because it doesn't run right or doesn't do anything super cool. So let's just get rid of it. But I felt like it had some more kick in it. He's such a professional. Even though he knows he, it doesn't matter, he's still cleaning the metal oh, the deal, to get the best weld possible. I want the weld to not break. I know the casters are probably going to break. Oh, sorry. Sure you are. Looks legit. Well, not your fingers. Yeah, except for this isn't even touching your gun. Do we strap it or do we just send it? You know what? That was really sketchy. I'm actually upset because my innovation was taking this fucking frame, putting some wheels onto it, putting it on the wheel. And then after we finish building it, Scotto shows up. Wait, so what's our aversion to using, to trying this one? Uh, just, uh, breaking it and then getting yelled at by you? We just spent all our time making this one. So, oh, so this is yeah. an investment. Oh, I get that. I get that. The investment was like 20 Investing in bad ideas is the reason I own 13 cars. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What's that? Why don't you just use this caster that's already built and fits perfectly around the wheel? done with the with the first half of the list oh my God. yeah this is a long one guys now that we're done with the first half of the list I'm gonna I picked some Hoonovations um, that I enjoy these are these are Hoonovative things that have happened and have elevated the content um, around this place and the first thing being is Manline Manline is a Hoonovation yeah it's we we have this area and we needed to have a track so to speak and it's you know like before daily transmissions we spent a lot of time crazy carting 
And that's actually how Manline was born. Mm -hmm. Manline was a line outside the shop. You ride the, the doorway and then you go down the ramp and then whatever else happens after that is what it is. Literally, Manline was a crazy car thing. Then Kibby came and did Manline in his truck. slider because he had no other place to go yeah <laughs> but so man line crazy carts then kibby tech and a truck which is like okay yeah trucks can do more things than cars can do then die came yeah and did man line in a full-blown race car yep Throwing so fireballs. hey die what are you gonna do i'm thinking about it right now Point, we decided, wow, we're all pussies. We have to do manline and shit car. So we started doing manline and shit car. Mm -hmm. And now we're out of really bad ideas to do in cars. We need a new track. So comment below if you can think of one. But manline is a is a motivation for sure. Yes. And a derivative of manline is man eights, which was created by BJ Baldwin. Yeah, he pretty much he came here to show us that we were pussies and we all sucked, yeah. and he had to show us how to do it. <laughs> invented something new. That's what I was trying to do. I saw a little bit of a course where you do like figure eights off of it. <laughs> that was literally, that's man line figure eight. <laughs> no one has ever done anything like that. That was amazing. I consider this a Hoonovation. Vinny is the one for, for this one. <laughs> so yeah, we got this BMW. Vinny and Brian bought these wheels that came off of a Chevy. Those lug patterns don't cross. So Vinny, Put the wheel on the hub, put one lug nut in, put three more lug nuts in, and this is the fifth hole, this is where the lug goes. That's how you fit a wrong wheel on a wrong car, I don't know. Hoonovative. Shitty, but Hoonovative. Those are our Hoonovations. If you, if we missed something, tell us in the comments. Maybe we'll add it in something later. Um, if not, enjoy. There'll be more. Brandon, are we done? We're done Is this Brandon. the part where we walk away? Since yeah. you guys don't know how to, how to freaking end the show, huh, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs>